Dear students, let us learn about concept on haves. Under this, first thing is general characters of haves and classification of haves. Birds are warm-blooded vertebrates with a constant body temperature and also exoskeleton as feathers. Birds among vertebrates, insect among invertebrates are a special creature for flying. There are about 30,000 of birds globally. The whole organization internal as well as external is modified for the aerial habit. So it is referred as glorified reptiles. They are known for the attractive body colors and interesting habits like singing, nest building, parental care and also migration. Let us go to the general characters of aves or birds. The first character is wings are provided with feathers which are bad conductors of heat. Four limbs are modified as wings for flight. Iron limbs are attached forward to balance the body on the ground and covered with scales. Generally, body of bird is more or less spindle shaped and divisible into four distinct regions. Number one, head, second one, neck, third, trunk and tail. Jaw bones are prolonged into toothless beak and neck is long and flexible. Tail is short and stumpy. Bones are very light but strong. Bones of the skull are fused intimately without any indication of the structures between them. Skull is monocondylic in nature. Limbs are two pairs, number one, four limbs and hind limbs. Four limbs are modified as wings for flying. Hind limbs are large and variously adapted for walking, running, perching, foot capturing, swimming, wading. Four limbs have three digits and hind limbs have four toes. Muscles of the back are reduced while the flight muscles are well developed that is nothing but pectoral muscle. Upper and lower jaw are elongated to form a horny beak. Teeth are absent on both the jaw or jawless. Elementary canal as crop to store food and glandular proventricles and a muscular gizzard is present inside the elementary canal. Cloaca is divisible into three regions such as coprodium, urodium and proctodium. Presence of preen gland or oil gland are located at the base of the tail region. This is one of the most important character of birds. Gall bladder may or may not be present. There are two bile ducts and three pancreatic ducts in, in some birds such as pigeon. Lungs are spongy and non-distensible. There are special air sacs, some of which communicate with the air cavities of the bone. Circulatory system is well developed. It includes nucleated red corpuscles, four chambered heart and only the right aortic arc is present. The renal portal system is reduced. Foreman magnum is ventral in position. Several posterior vertebrae are fused to form a synsacrum and pagostyle. Cervical vertebrae are heterocilous and extremely mobile. Sternum is provided with a well-developed key-like structure which serves for the attachment of the flight muscle. Ribs are double-headed or bicephalic in nature. 
in the pelvic girdle pubic and symphysis are absent in the pectoral girdle there is a v shaped furcula or wishbone which act as a spring during the flight cerebrum is large senses of touch and smell are poorly developed eyes are sharp and remarkable in having pectin and sclerotic plates there is no urinary bladder in birds urine is semi solid and contains excess of uric acid in female the left ovary and left oviduct are present but the right ovary is disappeared in the adult and right oviduct remains as a vestigial organ fertilization is internal x or large with plenty of yolk depending upon the yolk the animals are classified remember these points the developing embryo is provided with a large yolk sac amnion and allantois so this is the picture of a bird so one can see different parts of the bird so first you can see the head high neck flexible neck and then abdomen tail near the tail hyoid gland which is called as preen gland and cloaca which is helpful for laying the egg as well as uh, and uh, four limb which has uh, three digits first digits third digit and second digit which forms a wing and then there is a presence of a throat breast lower beak tongue and then upper beak you can see operculum and external nares and then the in the high nictitating membrane external ear opening can also be seen and then you can see the scales in the hind limb so these are the uh, characters we can identify when we when we when we see the birds externally if we go to the classification of aves aves is divided into two main subclasses number 1 archeo ornithis and neo ornithis archeo ornithis it includes old primitive extinct reptile like birds that lived uh, long long back during jurassic period example horcapteryx these are considered as a connecting link between the reptiles and birds and then these fossils are still now and preserved in some important museums of uh, some countries like uh, britain next come neo ornithus this includes all the living bird as well as few fossil form here in this bird tail is usually short and ends in a pangostyle and jaws except in few extinct forms both are, actually they they have toothless ribs carry a, a uncinate process it is nothing but double headed Uh, i have already i have told by cephalus in nature the classification of this neo ornithis is greatly divided into f- into number of super orders uh, namely um, uh, paleognathae neognathae odontognathae impenia like that uh, there are four different super orders uh, seen in this group of uh, living modern bird this is about uh, outline the classification of uh, aves class aves is divided into subclass harder and sub harder so it is divided into two main subclass that is uh, archeohornithis and neohornithis archeohornithis they are the old birds they are primitive they are not seen today neohornithis are the modern living birds you can see under that you can see the four sub uh, super harders actually there are many uh, super harders are there which are given uh, in this uh, slide so one can see it and you can read and you can identify the example for the each sub harder let us go to uh, archeohornithis in detail 
um, these are extinct and living uh, uh, living 155 million years ago in the Mesozoic era uh, the tail was long the wings are very primitive the power of flight was poor the jaws are provided with teeth and vertebrates are amphicillus in nature and pagostine is completely absent and keel is also absent the ribs are are devoid of uh, uncinate process and four limbs was provided with the four three clawed digits example hockeyopteryx So this is the picture of Orcapteryx uh, belongs to Orneoharchitis. Um, you can see the neck head high, but you can see the beak with uh, tachodont teeth with uh, teeth in the jaw, okay, in the uh, in the mouth, as well as uh, you can see a tail, a tail feathers and elongated lizard-like tail and body scales, co body is covered by scales and then you can see the claves. so these are the characters which are seen in this Orcapteryx so Orcapteryx is the uh, junction between reptile and bird so it belongs to Archaeornithis that is subclass Archaeornithis which look like reptile as well as bird Let us go to another group of bird which is called as the Paleognathae coming under Neohornithus that is a modern bird living bird. These birds are terrestrial in habitat restricted in some continent and so it is called as a discontinuous distribution not found in, in our country like India and then they are flightless running birds. They are very fast runner commonly large size. Um, and then feathers without interlocking mechanism so these are the some few characters of uh, paleo pagostyle is small or absent wings or vestigial or absent and then rectaris is, is absent in several uh, pieces and then the homur is large broad interpolated between palatine and clavicles is small or absent no furcula limb bones or not uh, nematic bones or pectoral muscles are poorly developed and voice box is completely absent interesting thing in these uh, birds uh, you can see the penis in male and clitoris in female oil glands are completely absent egg is covered by thick shell and in few form in few forms the eggs are very large example ostrich emu kiwi these are the birds which are coming under paleognathae so these are the pictures of paleognathae birds you can see emu um, kiwi ostrich and uh, these are the common birds what you can see under coming under Paleognathae. Let me go for another group of bird called Impeni. Here these are the modern flightless uh, birds with the pedal like uh, wings of uh, uh, flippers adapted to aquatic life. They found in water, four limbs are modified into flippers. So these birds have webbed feet and then they can swim very well. Example. Uh, penguins they have to keep the high body temperature and to remain active they have thick skin and lot of fat under the skin to keep warm in cold weather they also handle together with their friends to keep warm so these are the characters of this type of birds which are coming under impine example penguins found in the north pole and south pole of the um, planet earth so this is the picture of a penguin with webbed foot and uh, you know, flippers and then this is coming under a super harder hemp name. Let me go for another group of bird Neoornithus. This include modern as well as extinct bird. They possess short tail, well developed wings. And then the power of flight is very good but few forms are flightless they are a toothless animal bird and then the vertebrae 
were heterocelous in nature there is a presence of a pagostyle and the most important thing here here is sternum as a keel and ribs are uncinate in structure abdominal ribs are absent the digits of the four limbs are without claws the metacarpals are fused with the distal carpals to form a carpo metacarpus this group includes modern birds what we are going to see in our surrounding this slide tells about modern birds nothing but neognathi where it shows some general characters like uh, they are arboreal terrestrial aquatic cosmopolitan found all over the world they are flying birds they small in size and then wings are well adapted for flying purpose and then there is a presence of a down feather or a beak sheath like structure found in each bird legs are variously modified the presence of a down feather hoil glands are present near the tail region there is a presence of a, a pectoral well developed pectoral muscle pagostyle is well developed sternum well developed found uh, with the mid ventral key like structure voice box is also found air sacs are well developed in the in respiratory system and x or shell they are made up of a calcium shell structure and then the young ones are helpless they have to depend upon the parents example kingfisher vulture indian roller sand piper and then parrot myna indian roller so these are the kinds of birds which are modern birds they are found in uh, in and around us and then they are um, coming under group called neognathi